Welcome to Tompkins International's The New Retail Evolution of Grocery video. Today, we'll help you understand why the grocery business as we know it won't exist in five years and why grocery companies must switch to uni logistics for a new retail model. The battle between bricks and clicks is over, and the winner is the new retail. The news tells us that there's been a retail apocalypse in recent years. That's just not true. This is a time of retail renaissance. The bricks and mortar titans have gone digital, and the digital titans have turned to bricks and mortar. 2,000 stores closed, but 1,800 stores opened in 2017. Smart stores that provide digital and experience-oriented environments win. Dumb stores lose. As Alibaba Chairman Jack Ma put it, pure e-commerce is reduced to a traditional business replaced by the new retail. The integration of offline, online, logistics, and data across a single value chain. I'm pleased to be joined today by my good friend, Dr. James Tompkins, who is a global supply chain expert and entrepreneur who's worked extensively in retail, consumer products, and e-commerce, and is widely known for his unichannel innovations and the reinvention of supply chains to meet consumer expectations. Thank you, Michael. And let me introduce Michael. Michael and I have been friends and worked together for over 10 years, and it's been a great pleasure on my part to learn from him. Michael is an expert on global e-commerce and the evolution of new retail and the titans of global retail. Today, we want to address the changes in grocery taking place in the new retail model and the need for reinventing grocery operations and supply chains. The global retail titans are using grocery as the vehicle that will drive unicommerce, O2O, new retail transformations. Amazon, Alibaba, JD, Walmart, Carrefour, Tesco, Tencent, all want to dominate grocery as a way of establishing a daily interaction with billions of consumers. All have completely changed the calculus of supply chain and are shifting their retail strategy and their supply chain ecosystem to unicommerce and unified supply chain. This is what the Titans are offering their consumers and what they are demanding of their vendors. Let me be clear, the next 12 months will be the most turbulent time in the history of retail and the largest, most important battlefield will be the grocery store. The giants of grocery must respond. Covering all of our thinking on what's happening in retail, and specifically in food retail, is not possible in this short video. But we get it, your time is valuable, and goodness knows there's a lot to do. The unified supply chain that is required to support new retail must be able to support the flow of grocery containers, trucks, pallets, cases, and eaches for store replenishment, buy online, pick up in store, and direct to consumer where direct-to-consumer can be either buy online, ship from warehouse, or buy online, ship from store. The flow of products must be efficient and effective. Days of supply in the store, on-shelf availability, utilization of store space, and the customer experience must all be optimized. The goal must shift from getting cases of product to the store shelf and having the customer fill carts to a flow of goods that is dictated by the customer, sometimes with the customer thumping the cantaloupe, sometimes placing online orders of products, and, and, and sometimes placing products in the customer's trunks, sometimes delivering to customer's homes, and oftentimes doing a combination of all of these. The focus must shift to demand-driven supply chains, focusing on the distribu distributed logistics of eaches. Our firm, Tompkins International, has made a huge investment to create three new companies to bring the supply chain capability to companies like traditional grocery retailers. Our three new businesses today focus on the ambient center of the store, but will be expanded in 2019 to address refrigerated and frozen, and then to fresh in 2020. We believe the center of the store will shrink to allow grocery stores to have more space available for dining, entertainment, and for enhancing the customer's experience. You ask, how can we decrease the size of the center of the store 
while our suppliers are creating more and more new products? The answer is by reducing the inventory on the shelves and changing the supply chain feeding the shelf from case fulfillment process to an each fulfillment process with frequent store replenishments based upon real-time demand signals from the store. Inventory in the store will turn quicker and return on invested capital will therefore be higher as will on-shelf availability and sales. So will the number of items sold in the store grow? Yes, but the quantity of inventory of each will be reduced. So in the short term, we'll see little change in the grocery outer ring, fresh, refrigerated, and frozen. But we will see a significant change in the center of the store. In addition, we see substantial growth in buy online, pick up in store, and direct to consumer. However, we do not see buy online, pick up in store, nor direct to consumer occurring by picking items from the shelves of stores. We see a new each supply chain that allows us for either fulfillment center each picking or a combination of fulfillment center batch picking and backroom each sortation and shipping sortation to buy online, pick up in store, and or direct to consumer. Tompkins International has created three new firms to enable the EAT supply chain. First, Monarch FX, a distributed logistics alliance of best-in-class providers serving multiple clients from flexible, scalable, automated fulfillment centers focused on the supply chain for store replenishment, buy online, pick up in store, and direct to consumer. Secondly, Tompkins Robotics, a unique unit sortation and partial sortation robotic system that enables Monarch FX fulfillment, fulfillment center fulfillment, or backroom sortation to support the EAT supply chain for store replenishment, buy online, pick up from store, and direct to consumer. And lastly, SensorThink, an Internet of Things platform and warehouse execution cloud-based software solution that supports the IT requirements of Monarch FX and Tompkins Robotics. Thank you, Jim, for that fascinating look at the new needs of supply chain for the modern grocery and the new retail model. There's no doubt that new retail is changing the entire value chain of the food and beverage industry, from the farm to the store to our table. The way we think about food, eat food, and buy our food is changing completely. You can check out our other Tompkins new retail and supply chain videos on our YouTube channel, and we hope to see you again soon.